What's up YouTube, Steven here, bringing you guys part one of my Pittsburgh Steelers offensive scheme, German 13. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at our audibles for this scheme. So let's get started. Go into our offensive audibles real quick. Our first audible is going to be out of the empty Steeler. So non-empty Steeler. And it's going to be the stutter hook. If I can find it, right there. And then our second audible is going to be from the Gun Snugs, Steeler Crosses. Square audible is going to be from the Single Back Pit Doubles and see close Corner. Really like this play. This is probably one of my favorite goal line plays or red zone plays in the game. Then we're going to go with uh, R1 audible, which is the halfback stretch. And then. Uh, we're going to go with the L1 audible, which is the fullback inside out of the uh, split close gun. Uh, and also the stretch is out of the single back ace pair twins flex. Uh, I don't know if I said that or not. So uh, our base play for the scheme is going to be from the split close. And uh, for this we're going to put in our dual halfback package. Uh, I'm using the Saints, so uh, I do have, um, I want to have actually Mark Ingram in there instead of, um, instead of Thomas. So, go to the split close. Our base play is going to be, uh, either the close fullback trail or the close halfback wheel. I personally like the fullback trail. So, uh, we're going to show this against just a regular two-man under real quick. And, uh, set up for this play, very simple. Streak square, streak X, and uh, you need a motion snap circle on the drag right there. Basically, you motion him to the left as he takes a half step, snap it when he's turned sideways basically. So take a look at this. Snap it. And uh, I would say about 50% of the time, he gets uh, a lot of separation there. So he has that again, streak square, streak X. You can will uh, uh, Ingram as well. Motion snap. He's just not getting that separation, but we have that uh, trail route out of the backfield right there, Darren Sproles. Once again, I want to hopefully he can get that separation. There we go. That's what we're looking for. He didn't get as good a separation there because he did get caught up, but it uh, usually gets pretty good separation on that. Now your reads versus man are going to obviously get the drag route, and then you're going to hit Sproles. Pass lead Sproles down, and uh, you should get a pretty good gain. Now let's say they run zone, so switch up to a cover 3, you're still going to streak X and square, uh, and you can optionally put triangle on the wheel route. Motion snap, now the drag does get open fairly decently versus zone, I uh, just got a time to throw, don't want to get a pick right there. But uh, those streaks should open up uh, fairly nice against zone, show you that one more time. You can just pass lead to square, pass lead to X, go up and get up a Marcus close to 99 catching traffic holds onto the ball. So um, that is our base play. Now you can, if you don't like the motion snap of the receiver, uh, if you're playing in like a sim league, uh, you could just run it stock. I mean, the drag will get good. Like, as you can see there, the drag does get good separation against just a two-man under without the motion, but uh, it does get better separation versus the motion. Uh, another thing you can do is actually motion sprawls out, and you get sort of like the bunch wide trail. Which is, uh, I threw it to the wrong guy there. I'm an idiot. Like I double tapped X or something. But as I was saying, you can motion sprawls out. Wait till he sets. You can hit him in the flats right there for a nice little quick pass, maybe if you're in the goal line. It's pretty effective. But that is your base. And, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, part two coming right up. Thanks, guys.